promise and the school trip. The engines on the Allen Absorber like running on time, and it makes them feel really useful. Thomas likes running on time, most of all. He makes sure that he doesn't run late, and is always on time. One day, Sir Topham Hat came to see him. Thomas, you are to take the children to Coven's Gate for a school trip. Yes, sir, said Thomas. And with that, Thomas steamed out of the ships to go collect the onion for a bill. As soon as Thomas collected the children from the school, he made it on his way to Corbin's Gate. He raced past Kelsborough. At last, Thomas arrived at Corbin's Gate. Right on time. Congratulations. No wonder Sir Tuppum Hat says that you're a real useful engine. Thomas Bean. The children were excited that they were going on a trip around the Scarlowie Railway on board Duke. And as they went on board, Duke steamed on. Duke took the children all around the Scarlowie Railway. The children were most intrigued, and by the time the trip was over, Duke took them back to Crowland's Gate. The children had a marvelous time. The children enjoyed their trip, said Duke. That's great, said Thomas. As soon as the children climbed on board Annie and Clarabelle, Thomas got ready to take them back to the school. But as Thomas was about to keep going, there was a cow on his way. The driver and fireman tried to move her, but she wouldn't. I'm going to have to call for help, said the driver. But before he could do that, Birdie arrived. Don't you worry. I'll get the children to the school in no time. Thomas was relieved. Thank you, Birdie, he said. As soon as the children went on board Birdie, Birdie made his way to the school. As Bertie left, the cow got off the tracks. Thomas felt worried that he wouldn't be able to bring the school children back to the school. Thanks.
steam door. A steam door. There, almost found Birdie broken down. Birdie was delighted to see him. I broken down, he said. Can you take the children back home? They won't be able to make it in time. Thomas was delighted to agree. And as the children went on board Thomas, Thomas made his way to the school. Thomas was beginning to feel tired, but worried but unbeaten. He arrived at the school. But as the children stepped out of Annie and Clarabelle, they cheered for him for a job well done. Thank you for getting us home in time, said a student. If it weren't for you bringing us home after Bertie had broken down, we would have been stranded, said another. Thomas was pleased. Later, Sir Topham Hat then came to see Thomas at the sheds that evening. Thomas, I've heard about your hard work today and that you brought the children back to the school safely after Bertie broke down. You really are a useful engine. And Thomas beamed from buffer to buffer.